Hi, I'm Sarah, and welcome to Lori Farm. <laughs> Poor Daisy. <laughs> Some water too, I know. You guys hungry? Where'd your dish go outside? <laughs> you little stinker. You don't belong in there. Winter in Minnesota. Basically just gotta make sure their water and stuff doesn't freeze. Which they already have a full thing of water, so that's nice. These heated waters work really good. Then they don't freeze. Um, it's just a dog dish with like a heating coil in it. It's worked really well for several winters here. We've never had a problem with freezing water with that. That's basically one of the biggest concerns in Minnesota is in the winter if they're going to have frozen water or not. Everyone's got their food and water and seems pretty happy. Uh, today's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be 30 some degrees, so it'll be a nice warm winter day. Not every day in Minnesota is a frozen tundra. I'm excited to show you guys around the property. It's so much different here in the winter than it is in the summer, so stick around for that. I try to get the eggs a couple of times a day because it gets cold. Looks like I need to refill my layer boxes. We have one hen that particularly likes to scratch through here and drive me nuts. So we'll refill that. We keep a pile of straw for this exact reason. That'll be nice for them, cleaned up. We have a mixture of cracked corn and oyster shells on this one. Minnesota gets cold and there isn't as much um, sun. So you wanna make sure they have good protein, and also extra calcium. Do you think you're a chicken pretzel? What are you doing in the chicken poop? What are you thinking? Let me take you on a short little tour and you can see the difference um, between summer in Minnesota and winter in Minnesota. As you can tell, the snow doesn't bother the ducks at all. The thing I like about winters is the snow kind of knocks everything down and you can see so much further than you can in the summer. It's actually really beautiful. You guys enjoying the outside? You gonna go on a winter walk with me? Do you need some help out of that tree? It's so much quieter in the winter than it is in the summer. You don't have all the animals chirping and buzzing around. The dogs are like running around the field. The nice thing about Minnesota is the seasons. Nothing ever stays the same. Even the animals enjoy the outside quite a bit more. It's easier to find the animals too because you can find footprints when one of them runs off. Uh, so this is where our ducks spend most of their day. It's the other nice thing about having a pond on the property is they get free range and they seem to like this little cove area in here and it's nice because then we don't gotta run around and water them 80,000 times a day. They can just come down and get a drink whenever they want. So this is the pond in the winter time. We do have a giant um, aerator attached to our windmill and it opens up a good section of the pond for the ducks to splash around and play, which they really enjoy. We get a lot of stuff done in the winter, like cutting wood, fallen trees that have been sitting all summer. We just chopped up a nice oak, been using it to heat the house, works really well. And it's also a good time to plan for next year's garden. Think about new ideas and get things ready before seeds get bought out. It's nice to see the chicken integration went well. Even that little one's doing fine. I often get a lot of questions about uh, chickens in the winter. And as you can see, the snow doesn't bother them and they'll scratch through it all and find a 
patch of grass in there and whatever bugs and other things they find. We are expecting to get a ton of snow this week, so we'll have that to look forward to. But it doesn't seem to bother the chickens or the ducks. They walk around on it no matter if it's an inch or a foot. Main thing is getting the chickens water because they don't go down to the pond like the ducks. The ducks will wander down there and swim around. This is Biscuit, the one that wandered onto our property, and she is our indoor barn cat. She um, apparently loves us so much she never wants to leave the barn. You could leave the door open all day and she just sits in here. <laughs> I think she's afraid we won't let her back in. She's a good cat though, especially for one that just showed up. Sit, Sadie, sit. Good dog. <laughs>